Amazon bids to buy Whole Foods for $13.7 billion, Walmart buys Bonobos for $310 million, and Mobike, a ride-sharing company in China, raises $600 million. It's Friday, June 16th, and this is Crunch Report. Usually I wake up on Fridays expecting a boring news cycle. Today isn't one of those days. Let's start it off with a bang. Amazon has put in a bid to acquire Whole Foods for $13.7 billion. That is huge and totally unexpected. The all cash acquisition includes Whole Foods market's net debt and begs the question, what will happen now? Amazon is pretty good at letting its companies run independently. Look at the Washington Post, Twitch, and Zappos. But the e-commerce giant has also been dabbing in brick and mortar stores with Amazon Go, where you basically don't have checkouts. Will the same tech be applied to these stores? Will Amazon Fresh expand to even more places? So many questions. But what we do know is that Whole Foods will continue to operate stores under its brand and will use its same vendors and partners around the world. John Mackey will remain chief executive of Whole Foods and the company's headquarters will still be in Austin. The deal, which is subject to approval of Whole Foods shareholders and regulators, is expected to close in the second half of 2017. The biggest downside so far? Most grocery store stocks have tumbled sharply in early morning trading. They're all afraid of big ol' Amazon. Wow, that's a lot of money, and exciting to see this play out. It's so exciting. As if the e-commerce world wasn't crazy enough today, Walmart decided to join into the festivities acquiring Bonobos. $310 million deal would be massive news on just about any day, except one where Amazon throws $13.7 billion at a bougie grocery chain. As our own Sarah Perez put it, Amazon wants to become Walmart before Walmart can become Amazon. Walmart has broad appeal, but they're looking to get into higher end goods. Catch is, the company struggles with e-commerce, a key channel for younger demographics with disposable income. Amazon, on the other hand, wants to be able to deliver faster to cater to that same demographic. The catch for them is that they don't have the physical infrastructure to make it happen. And thus, days like today happen. The Bonobos deal follows ModCloth and Moose Jaw for Walmart, who's desperately hoping its expensive bets pay off. Peer-to-peer -peer bike sharing has yet to take off in the US, but it's big business in China. Mobike, one of the largest players in the country, raised 600 million in cold hard cash to push its innovative service into new markets, particularly Europe. Pushing up against rival Ofo, Mobike points to its scale. 100 million registered users, 25 million trips, 5 million bikes, big numbers. But Ofo is also a unicorn, so nothing should be taken for granted. Fight, 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 fight! Just don't pull an Uber, otherwise, go out of y'all. Fight, 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 fight! That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Boys every week at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. sitting on techcrunch.com. Else by iTunes and on YouTube. Alright, guys, have a great weekend.